Hey everyone, my name is Tegan. Welcome back to Sandy Rides. Today we have a change of scenery because I'm back at uni. I also impulsively cut off all my hair and this like one strand is slightly too long but I will fix it by the next time you see me. Today we are going to be talking about Lake Law by Anne-Marie McClemore. McClemore. I obviously should have checked how to pronounce her surname beforehand but again small brain did not think that far ahead. But this is a um, ebook advanced reader copy which I received from NetGalley in exchange from an honest review but I did pre-order this book months ago because I was in love with the concept and I just needed it like no matter what. So let's begin. So if you don't know already Lake Law is a young adult contemporary fantasy. I believe it's an urban fantasy. I'm not very good at my genres right now but it tells the story of two neurodiverse and non-binary teenagers who both use they them pronouns and I think you can see why this was so important and so exciting for so many readers. Our two main characters are connected through Lake Law, which is an ethereal world beneath the lake that they both visited when they met for the first time seven years ago. They also have not seen each other at all throughout those seven years that have passed since. And that was the only time that one of our main characters, Law, has been to the world, but that encounter changed their fate and their life forever. So these seven years later, Law moves to the same town as our other main character, Bastion, and they are once again connected as the lines between air and water begin to blur. So I'm going to start off by doing a little breakdown of our two main characters and I apologise for having a very British pronunciation of the names. Our first main character is Bastion and their story is betrayal of living with ADHD. They are Mexican-American, trans non-binary and they start testosterone during the book which is an event that becomes a very critical or key to showing their ADHD experience. They turn what they perceive to be bad parts of themselves into art and just hide it under the lake for no one else to see. And their storyline documents overcoming the fear of being seen for all aspects of yourself and getting to the part in life where you know that you're not alone with your troubles. Bastian also has like two lesbian mums and I wish they had more time on page because they seem cool and we don't get to know them as well as we do Law's parents. My housemate has just started a phone call, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. You probably can't, but I can. So, our other main character, Law, I will say now that these are dual narrated, they have a pretty even split of the chapters, but they're also both first person perspective if you're not kept first person, just warning you. So, Law's story is a portrayal of living with dyslexia. They are also Mexican American and they show a different perspective of being non binary. There's, I interpreted it as gender fluid because they did mention presenting specifically as male and female but I don't I don't remember that's kind of canonically on page so don't hold me to that one but their portrayal of being non-binary specifically showed how people treat you based on your how you present your gender and how they perceive that gender so when they present themselves as female how they are treated as a result of that their storyline also shows how ableism causes trauma and how long it takes for someone to heal from it if they ever do this is an own voices novel so i believe that the author is also non-binary to them pronouns mexican american adhd and dyslexic and the author's note states that these characters are written from their own experience of living with a neurodivergent brain and their lived experience being non-binary and Mexican-American. So we do know this for a fact. There's also a mention of how the author feels like they are exactly what some people think of when they think of ADHD. But also how they burn themselves out trying to mask the like less pleasant symptoms. And this is where it hit me. This, I, I'd always try to read author's notes, but this one stuck out to me. As, like, as important as the rest of the book, for me specifically. I found it incredibly refreshing to read about this specific experience and it was incredibly important and valuable to me to read about people who are like me and simply exist with their neurodiver neurodivergence without their story revolving around finding a cure or being a burden to people who surround them or making themselves more um, easier to be consumed for a lack of a better word. I think the thing that stops this book from being five stars to me is that I I think I went into it thinking it would be about something slightly different or the description itself is misleading because I thought we'll be spending more time in the world beneath the lake because the entire description is about that. I was expecting this book to be about like an adventure or the self-discovery journey to take place like in the lake itself rather than mostly staying on the surface. This little section of the review 
I've had to remove so many spoilers because obviously the book's not out yet. I want to keep my channel as spoiler free as possible and um, refrain from spoilery things until March, when it, I believe when it comes out. But they are on my Goodreads review and they are tagged as spoilers, like if, if you want to know. Because there's so much I want to say about this leak thing, but I don't know what, I, what counts as a spoiler. But uh, either way, I thought the lake would be um, a significantly larger part of the plot. Above everything else, Lake Law is a story about finding friendship and finding people who accept you for you. And I cannot emphasise the importance of both the neurodivergent and non-binary representation, but also how significant it is to show their friends and specifically their families who are supportive on the page. I gave this book four stars on Goodreads. I would potentially go for 4.5, but I'm so conflicted. It's been, it's been too soon. Usually I like to dwell on my reviews for a bit before uploading and posting and everything, but I want this done quickly because I was excited about this book. <laughs> the way that's my review of Lake Law by Anna Marie McClemmer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you take the chance to pick up this book when it comes out. And again, I hope to see you next time. Bye.